I ngā wā o mua he māma hū mārie noa a Sonia Maneina i roto i te rohe o waiho pai e noho whakaiti ana. Engari, nai anei, ko ia tētahi o ngā wāhine tino kaharawātu o te ao whānui. Ko te hiki mai tai, te mahi i piki ake a ia ki te karamatamata o te ao. A hei a pōpō ka haere ia ki Afrika ki te tonga i rungi te tōmina nui ona kia mauake i a ia tana taitara a ao tuatoru. Aneira a Kane Peters. Everything has to be stronger. Big chest, eyes up, approach the bar, hunt it down, stay centred and bring it to the top. And Sonia's been striving for the top since her childhood days in Southland. I was a little girl and Dad had weights in the garage and of course my mother said to me, no, it's not a place for girls. So I did sneak out to the garage and I said to Dad, can I stay? Don't tell your mother. So I stayed there and I always watched the weights and I actually lifted them when Mum and Dad weren't there. Years later, Sonia's combination of mental and physical strength were obvious to her coach, Brian. I've been coaching her for nine years. What I find inspirational about her is, is just the size of her half or a ticker and how she constantly gets better and better and better. The middle-aged mother of three decided in 2006 powerlifting was her passion. It was about training to be strong again. As a woman, after bringing up children, there's a strength that you think that you've lost. So I was exploring my strength. She'd come from a sports background. She was at the time of her life where she needed a, um, a change or a direction. And um, I thought that she would be a prime candidate to, to do special things, and she has. While Sonia was on her way to showing just how special she was, the death of her father in 2010 almost broke her. I didn't think I'd go back to lifting without Dad, because Dad used to always talk to me at the end of the week of training. But then when I went over to the Worlds, the day before I'd lift, he he would ring me. Brian has been huge in my life. He helped me through that time. I went out to the gym and in his quiet way, he just said, well, we'll do some bench. And I thought, I don't feel weak. I just felt lost, but it was actually lifting that healed me. With her strength regained in 2012, Sonia went on to compete for her first world title in Sweden. Yeah, come on, come on, come on. I didn't know what I had won. So when I come off uh, the platform, I said to Brian, did I do good, like I always do? And he said, yes, you did good. Good enough for a silver that was about to turn gold. A number of lifters from Australia have said, Sonia, there's something untoward with the overall winner from Russia. Yeah, come on, come on, come on. Yes! It's a good lift. It was a good lift. And what transpired was it was a positive drug test to Irina Yerozvenko. I was granted the gold overall. But it wasn't until after returning home that she received her gold medal. What she actually took from me was my opportunity to thank everybody in New Zealand on the podium in Sweden. With the support of Fano, she moved on from the controversy and got back into training in the serious business of funding her trip for the next World Champs. You sort of need that Fano support. It can be sounding like it's selfish, but you need to put so much into, into elite sports. We've all learned many fundraisers and everything like that. We've always grouped up together and helped and got friends and family together to organise things and quiz nights. Sonia's job for a department store puts her strong women's skills to good use. I've worked 14 years with farmers trading. My role at the moment is loss prevention and it's pretty serious. I, um, so that's like security? It is. It's uh, internal and external theft. She's also managed to find sponsorship from an unlikely source. I just wanted to make her some chocolate, so when she won the gold medal, as a surprise, I, I made her send me some photos and we did up the chocolate box for her. And I don't believe anyone could do what she's done on the funding she's done it and the way she's done it. Because she is a staff of Southland, but better still, she's a staff in New Zealand. 
The Southland star claimed her second world title at the Russian World Champs last year and smashed her way into the record books. I don't think I'll ever forget that lift. I approached that bar and I lifted it and I lifted two, three, six kgs. Once I'd set it down, they announced this is a new world record. While she's realistic that retirement's on the cards, she's not giving up without a fight. I never use the word or think of the word can't because when that word is even in one's mindset, you're not going to lift. So it's not about can't, it's about I'm the strongest woman in the world and I'm going to lift that. Sound like Mr T. <laughs> <laughs>